Hello and good evening um, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining us on the Oz Mining YouTube channel. Just doing a quick update this evening. I um, wasn't planning to do a, um, a post but I just thought well, while I was doing something I might as well just share it with you guys. So, so yeah, if you've been following um, the post uh, from earlier today, um, we had the uh, AMD RX 6600 here. Um, and also the uh, this MSI uh, RX 580 Armour, they were up and running on HiveOS and I've just unboxed a couple more of these AMD um, RX 580s that I've had to actually stick, sitting around for, for about a month now, um, my bad. Um, so we're trying here, this is an Asus Strix and this one's a Gigabyte um, model here so so yeah I'm just starting to yeah unbox some of the cards uh, I've got about another 10 or so down in the in the mining garage um, but what, yeah, what I'm trying to do here a little bit is just um, try all these different um, RX 580 versions just see which ones sort of work best most efficient highest hash rate uh, before I go out and uh, yeah buy some more hopefully so um, I do have um, an X F X model card which I hopefully dig out tomorrow but I think these are the four types of RX 580 that I've been buying which is the yeah the the MSI RX 580 armor um, the Asus um, uh, I think it's Rock, was it Rog Strix um, RX 580 um, I've only got one of these the um, the Gigabyte RX 580 and then the, uh, the XFS one. So the, so mainly be the three that I'm going to be testing out. Um, just hooked it up onto the board there so you can see the four uh, risers plugged in. Um, and I think yeah, what, what we'll do is we'll try and see if we can get this to work over here. It's going to switch over now to uh, the desktop. So it's, um, yeah, so we'll just switch over now. Uh, the desktop. So it's um yeah, so we'll just switch over now. Yeah, so look, this is my farm that I'm running out of nice hash at the moment. Um I won't spend too much time here, but these are most of my well, these are all NVIDIA rigs here running. So I've got about four well got 46 GPUs running. Um to 1.74 gig hash plus there's five five hundred and twenty mega hash running on this, which doesn't roll up here. So so running about 2.26 giga hash on these but what i really wanted to sort of work on today with you guys is um what i've got happening in um hive os here so these are the two gpus that i've currently got which is the um rx580 and the rx6600 um they've been running fine for um uh, i think about four or five days now and what we'll do is we will power up the rig and we'll see how those cards uh, fire up. So, so let's try and power that on. Um, so let's do, a, let's do a reboot there. And um, let's see if we can watch the rig is it. Hopefully it boots up here. Um, well, I did do a hard switch off, so I'm not sure if the rig can do a power actions. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work. What I might have to do. Yeah, what I think I'll do is we will use this here and we'll do a manual boot up so oh you know what i was i've just realized you go i actually had the the psu switched off um always good when you're changing your cards switch off the psu but here's a top tip when you want to start up again switch the psu back on <laughs> so there you go schoolboy error so let's let's turn that back on and Possibly now we will see the rig start up. I might have to do another. Um, let's try a reboot. Let's see if that works now. Right. So let's have a look here. Let's um, let's update this. Just refresh. Mm -hmm. So 
So I'm wondering as well if there's something in um, high. Oh here, oh here we go. Hello. Awesome. All right. So we've got we've got the Goo Bike card over here, and we've got the Asus card added here. So um, that looks really good, guys. Um, and oh, it looks so it looks like what it's done as well. It has applied some overclocks here already. I guess it's replicating the overclocks that I've I've had already. Um, so yeah, I might just have to have a look what we're doing. But look, it's really good that we've got the um we've got the four cards or or posting and saying hello. Um, I probably need to um, update the flight sheet um, to apply. So let's have a look at the flight sheet here. So this is the flight sheet we did. Um, it doesn't look like we're mining at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. So I might just go through and quickly check as well. If we look at the ASUS card, looks like it's copied over the overclocks that I've I've set already for the um, the other RX 580s. Um, so I'm not going to argue with these overclocks. Not sure the Gigabyte doesn't seem to have any overclocks. Oh, I don't know. There's a lie. Um, So let's look at this tweak here. So for Hynix cards, <coughs> excuse me. So it says here you can do a tweak ref 30. So we might, we might do a little tweak here actually. Maybe let's do this. So ref 30. So what I'm finding, this is the, I guess, gives some um, more enhanced overclocks. It shows you here Samsung, LP to memory, Micron Hynix. And Hynix there, um, or Vega, but I think we we'll run this one here. It says Hynix Memory Ref Thirty, so so we'll apply that. That looks pretty good. Um, no power limit set there. Where's power limit? Uh, I have power limit here. Fan sixteen. I think we need to get power limit set as well. So let's just go to the MSI card. Like, what I like to do, I can just compare the different cards. So, yeah, so we might go power limit 60 there just to um, replicate that. So let's do power limit 60. Um, apply. And let's check. So the Asus um, ROG Strix card has got a Micron. Um, uh, tweak aggressive da -da -da. add config advance so it's saying for micron yeah also ref 30 so it doesn't look it doesn't look like here oh I see so I have to um, why do I copy and paste oh I see some idea yeah okay so basically go here you come up here, you click it, and you apply. There you go. So we're learning here. Um, so, that's, so it's showing you there that these got the tweaks. This one here, no tweak on this one. So this has got a Samsung memory. Let's try a tweak on the Samsung memory. So Samsung view ref 20. Let's apply that. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, right, we've got little tweaks in there. Not planning to do any tweaks with uh, the RX six sixty um, for now, anyway. Um, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. I I'm not quite sure. I, I don't remember actually having the same overclocks on my RX six sixty versus the um, RX five eighty. So I'm not sure where. I'm thinking it's copied across. Some 
Yeah, because look, I think the RX 580 is like this core 1150 in memory. So I actually think I need to replicate these overclocks to these 580s. So I might just jump in here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to run all these um, settings here. I'm not going to copy it exactly because I want these these advanced tools might be a bit different. But um, what we'll do, we'll, we'll remember these overclocks. So we're we'll going here. Um, yeah, the, these are my overclocks for the. So I think I'm going to go there. Oh, I need to remember now. So I think it's 1150. One's fine. I think we did 895 there. Nothing there. 2150 for memory clock. Memory state. I think it was one. Memory voltage. I don't think there's anything there. So let's apply that. That looks the same. Let's just double check. Okay, there's probably a smart way to do this. I think there's some way you can look at all of them together at the same time, but let's let's just go with this for now. So uh, and look, I think because I'm still learning, I'm happy to take a little bit of time, figure it out. Um, so yeah, so eleven fifty one eight nine five and zero. So let's have eleven fifty one eight nine five and zero. Eleven fifty one eight nine five and zero, yeah. 2151 0 60 60 2150 oh yeah, that's what I had. 2151 0 60 alright cool so let's also do that for this ASUS one again these cards might have some slight differences that I need to figure out as well so um, I guess this will just be the start and we may well come back and, and do some further tweaking down the track so Let's apply that as well. Alright, that's looking good now. So now I can see that my 580 guys are all pretty consistent. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Are you guys happy with that? Um, let me know in the comments, feedback, if um, yeah, I'm going to do something a bit different. Um, one thing I have done, I've, I've set all the fans, minimum fan speed 44 across the board. Again, I'll probably do a bit more finer tuning. Um, but for now, just for safety, to make sure um, nothing gets too hot, I've got all of them running at 44%. One thing I find, because the RX 6600 is a lot more efficient, it cools really well, that actually gets a lot cooler than, than the 580s. But again, we'll, we'll do some more tweaks now as we get there. So, all right, so let's look here. Um, oh, here's the overclocking actually. Ah, here we go. Look. Here you can see, you can, you can sort of compare all the overclocks here. So. This is actually good because I can now see um, that I've got all consistent across the RX 580s and then the RX 6600 has also got its own. So that, that, that's actually really good. So let's look at the flight sheet. I think I'm just going to copy this flight sheet. It went good. Uh, oh. I have work updates, so that's cool. Um, so I've, I've just applied that flight sheet, I think, to the workers now. So I'm hoping this might start mining um, now. So let's see. Okay, let's refresh that. Okay. I thought some temps coming through now, this, this, this could be good. There we go guys, we are hashing. Awesome. Guys, it's good to be alive. Look at that, so the 35RX58 is now hashing. So it's a 660. Okay, oh that looks really good. So let's have a look at it. So we've got the, the gigabyte being 29.6. 
the MSI armor is being 27 and a half. The Asus, wow, 30.3. So obviously the Asus Strix, that's really impressive. Um, smashing over 30 mega, 30 mega hash, and then the OX660 is being 28.6. So yeah, that's really interesting to see, guys. So, so look, guys. Hope that was useful. We um, let's see what we do. I want to flip back to the uh, camera now. Right. So yeah, so I hope that was useful, guys. Um, we've got these uh, cards up and cashing nicely now. Let me just do a quick refresh on the. Uh, Yeah, so it looks like overall, um, if you give my card, you're getting about 28.5 mega hash. The Asus uh, Triple Fan is a massive card, I must say, it's so good, it's a really big and heavy card. We're getting about 30.5 mega hash. The MSI Armor, uh, oh, it's quite late probably the loser here, is about, what's it, we have a look, it's doing 27.5. And the RX660 being like 28 and a half. So, so, so I'm saying, number one, definitely the, um, the Asus, which looks like. The device number two, and then the MSI armor number three. So, look, what that's probably going to tell me, I'm going to, I've got more of these cards to try out, so I'm going to get them one alone. And it might be that we want to buy lots of these um, Asus cards. So, yeah, so I hope that's useful, guys. So yes, I hope that was useful guys, um, we've got these uh, cards up and hashing nicely now, let me just do a quick refresh on the, uh, yeah, so it looks like overall, um, the Gigabyte card we're getting about 28.5 mega hash, the Asus uh, Triple Fan, and it's a massive card, I must say, the size of the heatsink, it's a really big and heavy card, we're getting about 30.5 mega hash, the MSI armor uh, rx580 probably the loser here it's doing about was it have a look. it's doing 27 and a half and then the rx660 is doing about 28 and a half so it's um so i'm saying number one definitely the um the asus strix card gigabytes number two and then the msi armors number three so look what that's probably going to tell me i'm going to I've got more of these cards to try out, so I'm gonna get a couple more up and running. And it might be that we wanna buy lots of these um, Asus cards. So yeah, so I hope that was useful, guys. Um, appreciate any comments and feedback. So I was a bit of a slow video today, but say, I'm just doing it as a, as a, uh, I guess a new miner. We're learning as we go. So yeah, appreciate you watching, guys. Um, I appreciate all the questions and feedback. Um, I've got some good banter going now on the channel, so um, yeah. Guys, have, have a great evening and we'll chat real soon. Thanks for watching.